there's a way, where there's a whip, there's a way, where there's a whip. We don't want to go to war today, where but the Lord of the Lashes says, a way. Nay, nay. I always got to love the classics. Flip going, check going, keep going. Well done, I'm glad you're all banging up, Gold Splat. Let's see if he gives a fair game one more time, eh? Anyway, welcome to VJP Division, match day four. And right, guess what? Here we are on the Nats, season number 11, plowing ahead. It's good to see. Welcome all back. And boy, we got a treat for you today, yeah? As you can see here, it is the brilliant... Goblin team being run by none other than Splinter here. And there's Pumpkin Escobar there. And of course, in proper tribute to his fine work team. Well, we had to go looking up a classic tune for him, didn't we? And if you don't know what that tune's from, I, I, I regret you missed that out on your childhood, lads. You, you, Lord of the Rings in the original animated version. Yeah, it actually was partially a musical. <laughs> go figure. Now, well, entertainment's where you get it. Right, so... Let's get this one started in here. There's a kickoff. Oh, there's a gentle gust of wind. Great. Okay. Who cares? Let's get on with it. Well, it does lead to an excellent kick in the backside. Really? Hulk! Smash! Well, I wouldn't exactly say it's a Hulk smash, but I'll take it. Yes, I'm looking at it from this end here. Is I want to get a good look here at what Ice and God's gotten blundered into. Uh, you can see this really clever deployment. <coughs> Excuse me, eh? Sorry, there wasn't enough whiskey in the coffee this morning, so still choking that one down. Oh my. Okay, now we're really back to front here, but you know what? I'll take it, he's sexy beast troll, and they're off to the races. That, from a goblin viewpoint, is a brilliant stop because let's face it, the orcs only have, you know, their thrower in reserves, and now they're actually down two players on immediate chaos. He's got the ball, well done, Pogu stick. Let's face it, and you can see here from the hot ink three there, he's even got the extra movement, so now it's a movement eight player. Pogu stick by far is one of the most versatile secret weapons in the current Blood Bowl 2 uh, yeah, I'm stressing that Blood Bowl 2 current LRV it's one of the most useful secret weapons the goblins can actually use because it doesn't count as a secret weapon and speaking of what doesn't count <laughs> hell yeah there you go That's the other... why are you bother carrying him what, what are you, you're, you're bother carrying him because he's dead it's a goblin why do you care? He doesn't have any skills. Why? Okay, you know what? Not my team. You just treasure your lads a wee bit more than I do. <laughs> really? Unless this guy has a pile of star player points? Why? Are you a pop for getting a lowly goblin? He's only 40k. Yeah, never mind. Well, unfortunately, he's definitely acquired the Maggot Scum Custom Chainsaw, which, as you see, yeah, never works. <laughs> it blunts too easily. There's the early reroll already burned. Gets him a solid hit. Hell yeah! <laughs> and yes, two can play at that game. Well done, Gobbo. Well done. Ah, well, Troll's getting the work here. Now, admittedly, you know, you're dealing with Orcs here. Thicker than L armor. Uh, AV9, with the exception of, you know, any other specialty kind of player they get. So they're going to stand there all day and just dish it out and pound in it. Pound in it. Pound in it. Pound in it. 
He said, now you're seeing something really crazy here. Eligible receiver. No, seriously, it's absolutely crazy. Well, I have to say that because, well, it's unfortunately dodged out to a KO. And, well, congratulations, you've now just made life easier. The Orcs suddenly, well, it's 9 on 9. And let's face it, that does favour the Orcs, considering, well, they can just keep pounding away. And pounding it. And pound Okay, we've done enough of that one. Alright, so here we go. Black Orc, he's already got the skill block. Solid hit on the troll. And quite frankly, at this point here, what's his intention? And you can see it, well, he's, he's thinking, Scott, take the chainsaw out. It's not a bad thought. No, it's not a bad thought at all. Because, you know, out of all the goblins, not only is he stunty. Ah, uh, that was an easy one. This is Sparta! Ah, that removes that one. You see, here's the problem with the goblin chainsaw. Yeah, he's absolutely dirt cheap. But remember, he's got stunty. Because he's got a secret weapon he's carrying, he doesn't dodge like a normal secret weapon. It's actually a rule under secret weapons. If you have a secret weapon, Stunty doesn't help your dodge. No, I'm serious. This is what the pogo stick is so funny. Technically, it's a secret weapon, but if you actually look at him, let's call him up here, he doesn't actually have the secret weapon classification. So that means he can use his stunty and his dodge, aka he ignores tackle zones. The chainsaw, even though he's got stunty, doesn't ignore tackle zones. It's really frustrating. Also, he doesn't start with dodge. So he's a rather easy hit, isn't he? So there's your fun fact from your gobbo master over here. Well, <laughs> gobble wrangle anyway. I'm dealing with referees. What do you expect's going to happen? All right, meanwhile, behind the play here, the Orcs have basically almost given this one up, it seems like, here. Yeah. Push me, push you, will keep the troll marks. That will free two players up. And now he's moved his team over here, and he's going to see what he can do. Now, he only gets a push, not what he planned. Does he risk it? No, he doesn't. Now, he's going to bring the Black Orc in, as you can see here, because he wants to get the two dice on the troll. It's a basic goblin scoring play. Hopes and dreams, really it is. It's over 9,000! Well, he's lucky he only gets a stun. But now here's the thing with this movement 8 pogo stick. Try and catch him, you'll be buggers. Now, really, if you're the orc team, your fastest player is 6. That's a bloody nightmare. And now he does the sensible thing. Well, okay, he's going to throw this block first. Maybe not quite as sensible. But you know what I mean. Risks the dodge away. There you go, he's got all players. He's going to tie this play up, and then he can actually burn a turn as the Orcs have to pursue him. Which is a good strategy. That's push me, push you. How'd you like another one? Gets away with the easy dodge. More push me, push you. Okay, that didn't exactly work, but two squares away... And now he's got a trailer. Not bad. Yeah, welcome to turn four. Okay, Orcs, how are you going to stop this one? I'm not too sure how they're going to stop this one, but they're bound to find a way. I do stress, though, it has been pretty handy. He's got the two KOs, so that has slowed the Orcs down. Uh, he's viewing it. Well, he's done some damage to the Goblins, but, you know, he's got spares. <laughs> it's not a Goblin team without spares. That is solid it. Come on, did you get anything out of this one? <laughs> now, it's a stun. <laughs> Let's try this one. Solid punch, nothing there. Rest of the team in all pursuit. And here come the rest of the sprightly lads jogging their way down. As I got told, their mother... They were always told by the insults, you know, their mother's got army boots. And they said, thank you very much. Ah, ah, well done. He's earned the right to that dance. And there's a quick score for the Goblins. 1-0. Well, now, a bunch of you saying, oh, there's a big one there. Neither KO comes back. 
And the Goblins, well, their KO doesn't come back, but let's face it, they don't sucking care. Uh, we'll keep it over here, because now the Orcs, they've brought the player back in. At least they've got the thrower back. But, yeah, that puts them down to 10 players. Goblins, yes, they might just be Goblins. But he is still actually fielding a full complement. So it's all going to come down to, can he slow him down and control the ball? Orcs immediately have four turns. Orcs not known for an explosive offense, but indeed they can't do it. Let's take a quick look here. And you can see, well, he's got the two blocks and then he's got the one money blow. So that's his plan. Oh, look, it's more ge gentle, great wind. Who cares? Let's get on with it. And once again, the you know, flatulence in the stands on Baked Beans Night. <laughs> the chasing of cabbages and pears. And you can see where that's gone and blown off to. Well, here you go. Immediately the Orcs decide, no, he wants the casualty. Uh, you actually might want to score the thing. And all it does is achieve him, you know, square root of fuck all. See? That's why. See, lad? That's why you don't re-roll that block. You got greedy for a casualty. Congratulations, you're now out your thrower. <laughs> you're lucky he's not dead. Goblins! Uh, let's be blunt, lads. You go get the bloody ball. And here come, here come the sprightly young lads. It's all out. Everybody charge down here because now the orcs have wasted an entire turn. I... It's like you say, why is he re-rolling that? Well, it's because he's got money below, he wants his casualty. But, you still need to get the ball down the field. And that's why you have to pay attention where you're using your re-rolls. Greed, sometimes, really is not good. I don't care what a gecko is saying. Considering how much he's still paying off that credit card to my sister, I, she, it's, it's a good lesson to learn to everybody. Anyway. Let's see how crazy he gets. See, this is the miracle of stunting. One, two, three, four, five, six. Yes, it's a risk. But risk is the business when you're playing goblins. And when your stunting actually is working the way it should be and you dodge, that's exactly what you do. You run right through the team. Well, he's immediately had to throw a block, gets a stun, but guess who's not going anywhere, Sunshine? Yeah, you got it, that lad. And now you can see what the Orcs have to do. And meanwhile, this little bugger here, guess what? He's your eligible receiver. I said he's your eligible receiver. And look what it just achieved you, more pushing. Alright, hey, it just means the Orcs have given up. Any pretenses of trying to score this one. And now you can see he doesn't try... Oh, now he's going to try it one more time. No, he's just going to mark it. That's a mistake with goblins. He makes the solid hit. Here comes the black orc coming back. Okay, what purpose is he serving? No, seriously, what purpose is he serving back here? <laughs> What's that? I've been incredibly critical today? You don't say. Ow, oh, bloody hell, he blows the easy one. Finish him! But that's the fate of goblins, isn't it? Risk is the business, and now and then you roll the one and nine. Sometimes you roll it more often than at normal, but, you know, that's the business. Turn seven, orcs. Yes, I will say it bluntly, you just caught a lucky break on that one. But now look what you had to do. The person who needed to retrieve the ball had to throw the block. You're now going back to the greed play, and you're completely ignoring actually scoring the thing. Because, well, you needed that one. Stab, stab, stab. Well, you got a casualty out of it. There you go. You'd realize you were supposed to score back, right? Ladies and gentlemen, that's called going for a tie. <laughs> Meanwhile, over here, more push me, push you. Well, that's fine. Now, you've got block. Lag, you've got two rerolls left. You throw the two red die block. Why? Because you can reroll the thing easily. You've got a reroll. It's a two and three chance he succeeds and pushes the troll away so he can't throw his swing. 
thought you could do that. <laughs> Fuck you. And then you can have that happen. Well, you're not re-rolling that one, lad. Oh, good lord, he got another one. Silence! I kill you! That's exactly what he did. Uh, he just fell on the poor bastard. It's a great game. Orcs are just devastated at this point. That's the second death. They were lucky on the first one. But now they're out. Another point. It's a black orc of all things. Uh, well, that's all he wants to do. All pretenses of scoring but from the Orcs viewpoint, this game is a complete disaster. And now it's become all about punishment. Okay, can he get this other one? <laughs> no, just a stun. Okay, would you actually like to salvage the play? It's turn eight, your boys will take the pass, you need it. Oh, now you're gonna use your reroll, are you? Okay, here we go. <laughs> this is when you know your game's going bad. Uh, it's maybe one or two misplays, but it's suddenly it's already one nil for the goblins. And look at the casualties the orcs have taken. This is devastating, and they've only got one KO back. As for the goblins, they're ready for a fight. Come on, lads, let's go. You gotta love seeing all that. Because let's face it, normally any goblin play, it's it's pretty much that, isn't it? <laughs> it's fireworks and sp and you're helping something works. Well guess what here, lad? It's working. <laughs> Not in the way you planned, but then again, has anything ever worked according to a goblin's plan? That's a whole discussion in its own right, isn't it, lads? And you wonder why I love casting this team. Alright, well, let's carry it on here. Goblins kicking this one off again. Oh, look. It's an extra re-roll. Okay. Everyone's going to be happy now. That was easy. And once again, it's a perfect kick right into his back end just the way. Apparently this oak coach is apparently liking it today. Uh, it, it wasn't his first choice. And I don't think it's ever going to be his choice, but there it is. And now he's got to spend all his effort without a ball carrier. <laughs> Remember that greed part? Okay, come on. Cameraman, pick a player you're following. There you go. All right, how about you? Okay, he's obsessed about this one here. This time, doesn't re-roll it. Of course, he's cursing and swearing, as you can hear, because that's still not working right. More push me, push you. And now the Orcs actually have to pay attention and try and get this stupid ball thing. And as you can see, yep. Ball security at its best. He's got the ball. That's fine. And there's the smart move by the Goblins. They immediately start doing a little bit of a breakaway and start putting pressure in. Now Black Orc survives. That's a good way of phrasing it. Ah, uh, here comes the star. He's coming up there. Uh, uh, we can see what's leading up here this time. Now the more the sprightly lads coming up here. You, how'd you like a boot? Ah, oh, this is bad! Ah, uh, it's only a stun. Constable of course, doesn't call that one because, well, his understanding is you don't call fouls against, you know, goblins. Why? Uh, apparently it's a family thing. Anyway... Getting on. Does he make the dodge away? Yes, he does. As the troll probably in end. And now it comes the rest of the team, and now you're starting to discover this is when it, when your dodge is working reliable and your goblin team, this is what you start to do. And it's a nightmare to defend against because if he can trust his if he trusts his dodge and he trusts his stunty because it's actually rolling average, this starts happening. No, I'm serious. If he trusts his dodge, because it's actually working like it's supposed to, this is what he does. He's going to fail the old one. It's one in nine. But that's what it should be. Well, now look what he's having to do there. He's doing now a greed reroll to try and take care of that lad. 
And that doesn't work. And now you can see here the rest of the teams have to come all the way back. You know, because, you know, let's face it, you know. This is just not going the way they actually want to go, do they? Yeah, Golden Coach, he's pretty ecstatic about that one. He's racking them up again. And the Orcs are falling to their horror. You're running out of players, lad. Time for a true display of skill. Yeah, there he goes. Yeah, if you think this game's going all one way, <laughs> think again there, lads. There's a Warden 36. So any claim, well, Goblins are getting their fair share of bad luck. They are getting their fair share. However, as long as it's kind of balancing out, I think a Goblin coach is just fine, as long as he realizes risk is the business. Hi, Mr. Cameraman, would you like to pay attention to the game? There you go. You are so small! It's funny to me! Uh, you can see here, yeah, well, the Orcs have cleared things up, but they're not getting what they really want. Uh, just gonna have to deal with it. Meanwhile, slowly but surely, the Goblin team's just removing more and more. Like, look at this! The vast majority of his entire team's stuck over here. And he's just gonna keep the work here. It's a good blitz. Doesn't decide to go any further, though. Would have been tempting. Not sure what you were doing re-rolling that one. Admittedly, you're a bit cheeky, but that's one of the times going, do you spend the re-roll? It's a big maybe. Now, I, I'd be serious. It's a big maybe, because I think I see where he was going with that one. It's not a bad idea. Not at all. But I'm not too sure you spent... When he fails it, I'm not too sure you spend the re-roll on it. Unless you think it's that urgent. Meanwhile, let's see it for the you know epic of Stunty. And the goblins are in a fine position. So, orcs. <laughs> Lots of problems. And the goblins are definitely one of them. Oh dear, they finally got another one there. Me, me. As you can see there, you know, the orcs are very happy. You know, that's how you treat a goblin from an orc's viewpoint. Well, he's swinging out. Okay, that could work. So now you're starting to see why he wants that troll over there, because that would mark these players up, freeze everyone else up. And here come the Orcs. It's a good solid progression, and it looks like they're coming around the side here. All right, Goblins. Well, this guy's moving eight, so he just comes all the way over, at least as far as he needs to. And he'll keep an eye on things. There's cheeky little lad. Yeah, well, let's get a mess this guy's shit up, shall we? Why are you blitzing with the troll before doing everything else? Uh... In smash! God's okay. And here I was saying brilliant things about this couch, and then he goes and does that for the second time. No, you don't do that. Well, not yet. You still had plenty of other things to do. You do that first. Or was that your plan? You had to do that. Then everyone else did everything. Well, Orcs, congratulations. You've got a freebie. You better start running with the ball. Let's go, lads. Down the field we go. Olay, 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 as they'd say in the old countries. Of course, some of those countries say we're not old. We're only 350. We're not sucking old. This is what we call the old country. Oh, well, there we go. And now you're rerolling that one. Yeah, dear Orc, okay, you've got three rerolls. That many turns. You know what? Why not? Makes sense. Now the Gortons do the block thing we wanted to do earlier, finally. Freezes players up. Okay. 
Well, he's got block. You could do the crazy. How do you feel about it? Well, crazy's driving the bus, evidently, for the goblins. It's a light screen. I am now guaranteed that's actually going to work. Makes the go for it. There you go. Now the goblins at this point are going, where did this all go so wrong? <laughs> it was going so right just a moment ago. Well, admittedly, the troll, but then you used your re-roll. I don't know. And now here's your troll again. Well, troll gets to push me. Fine. Now he comes running back. Doesn't tag anyone up, but he is coming running back. All right, fair enough. Orcs got to force all through. That's what they do best. Well, he's got another one there. I broke your stupid crap, moron! Tell me you're stunned now. So, carrying on. How aggressive do the Orcs feel? Well, he's going to go that far. Now, at this point, like I said, the Orcs, because they played the first half. And that stupid play. They're playing for a tie. You realize you're against a one-turn touchdown team and you're playing for a tie. And they'll get the last turn. Just saying. Of course, I gotta admit, if this was tree men, I'd have more confidence in that play. Goblins, not his well, not. And now he's here to f us. <sighs> Run, bitch! Run! <laughs> <laughs> it's just not his day, is it? <laughs> it's just not your day. I'm sorry I had to laugh at that one. But you, you can just see the keyboard fly across the room on that play. Going, really? Uh, it's your voice. They suck this game. <laughs> you've, no, you've learned nothing, lad. Goblins suddenly have a, well, crazy chance. Well... Do you want to risk it? If you want two more, you've got them stuck. Nope, not risking it. Well, I can see why. But seriously, lad. Do you really want to? Ow. Bloody hell. Hey, that's pretty good. Well, one and nine. Like I said, the dice rolls are all going one way. That's pretty clear, this game. <laughs> Nuffle's treating everyone like his bitch, isn't he? Yeah, well, he's an eight. Again. Ask me, sister. Apparently, she's charging by the minute. Anyway. Oh, there's a good solid hit. Dummy, yeah. Ah, it's just a stun. Well, you know what? The orcs just want to score at this point, yeah. So they're not too picky about it. There we go. Dodge. Good push away. Marks them both up. Well, one well, and nines are happening, so why not? Guard the troll. Yeah, see, like I said, shame the troll wasn't where he needed to be. And he just scores that one. Oh, yes! Well, there you go. 1-1. One, one. But did he score that one too early? Orcs, devastating. Fortunately, get two of the key players right back. As for the Goblins, well... He's not coming back. Sorry, lad. So... Let's take a look at this one back here. So, let's face it. Did he score that too early? He can easily, especially with this young lad, score it in two turns. Yeah, that's bloody easy. See, he can do it just like that, no problem. Let's see if my prediction's correct, isn't it? Well, we'll see. So let's do the numbers here. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8 goblins total, 1 troll. So he's got 9. That's enough. Extra reroll. Okay, well, you know, it's not like the orcs actually need it. I find your lack of faith disturbing. Well, they don't. Alright, he makes the easy pickup, <laughs> so to speak. Now, you see, this is the problem with stunting. Pass actions. You actually made that a pass. And it worked. Well, 
free skill point for the Goblin. He'll take it. <laughs> uh, psst, you can't throw him. But that's quite all right. He's done his job. Quick hand off. The lad's off. Where are you going, Sunshine? Exactly. You got to mark this one up. Okay. Here's the big risk. Gets the two marked up. That works just fine. Here comes the rest of the team. Now, here's going to be the fun one. Where do you move him? Let's see if he's figured this one out. One, two, three, six. That's not bad, lad. Ugh, that is bad, though. If you don't like it, don't fucking watch it. See, there you go. There you've got it. All right, orcs. What are you going to do? We must overreact immediately! That's exactly it. Anyway, carrying on. The Orcs are going to try and smash this one. But remember, this is a target. That's a solid hit. They could have used that earlier. Well, he's bringing all the players back. Three dice. Well, that's a push me, push you. Doesn't serve anything. Players there, come on. Makes the dodge away, comes back in. And he's got the hit, that's all he wants. Heroes never die. Where'd the ball go? Well, it's not over yet, lads. And oh my god, he left him in surf position. Oh, yeah! Kill him! Do it! Shoot him! Now, it's only a KO. Orcs lock out a second time. <sighs> I can see why he did it. As the aggression, he's got the ball. Does he make the handoff? Yes, he does! Go, you little bastard! Go! Oh, you touched my ta la la. Mmm, my ding ding dong. And there you go. Absolutely. You just saw it there. No rerolls left in tank. Gets the pickup. Gets the handoff. GFIs. He is in. 2-1. This Goblin coach is bloody amazing, as we'd say. Yeah, so VGP division. There's your shocker there. This is going to get pretty scary. Look who actually gets the MVP. Yeah, you see that, right? It's actually the bloody chainsaw. He's going to be out for a while. But you know what? Eventually, if he starts getting skills, I hate to say it, the first skill he usually buys, of all things sometimes, is maybe sneaky get, but I'll tell you this. He never rolls a double. He buys dirty player. Now, dead serious. He's the dirty player. Get any double you roll, lad? <laughs> Splinter, advice. You roll a double on him? Dirty player. And just watch the streams begin. Anyway, there you are. VGP Division 2-1. Nuffle, bless your dice.